Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So if you haven't watched my last video, I had caught COVID going up to Daytona. I still have it. I'm starting to feel better, but I'm still a little bit under the weather. So that's why my eyes might look a little strange. But anyway, I'm excited about this video. Edge and Xena was my most anticipated pairing going into the breeding season. And now I'm gonna show you the entire clutch. So let's jump right into it. You know I wanted to record this more than anything. I wasn't gonna do it without you guys. So I wanna show you one of Xena and Edge's babies. Now there's a couple of surprises in the clutch, some beautiful babies, but this is one I wanted to show you first. Now this is a beautiful little twin spotted Dalmatian kind of a look to it. Ink drop if you want to call it. But this one, but this one has a deformity in the lower jaw where the lip didn't grow all the way out and it's kind of slanted. So this one I'm separating so that the vermiculite doesn't get stuck in the mouth. I'm gonna offer it food and try and raise it, get it strong. And then if it's doing well, I'll give it away as an adoption animal for free, no charge. And uh, you know, it's a beautiful snake. Some breeders do feed their snakes to other snakes when they come out like this, but you know what? I just don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna try and raise this little guy up. Now, all the other babies came out perfect. I checked all the babies. So I just wanted to show you this little guy first, and now we're gonna get to the rest of the clutch. So before recording, I was talking to some breeders and they did say it happens. Sometimes you'll have a snake come out deformed. It's just part of breeding snakes, especially if you breed a lot of snakes. So it's just something to open your eyes about if you're looking into breeding snakes. This is a possibility. You know, I was only thinking about little tail kinks. I never saw anything with the jaw or anything else. There's all type of things that could happen Mostly positive, but this is a possibility. So now I'm gonna show you this amazing clutch. I'm so excited. Now this is the clutch right here. Only one shed. This guy right here, I believe, is the one that shed and the rest are still deep in shed. So their colors are not that great, but they're still amazing to look at. You can get an idea. Now this is the shed from that guy. So this is the one that was climbing. This is the one that shed. So I figured I'll show him first. He seems to have the most energy. He's got really, really nice high whites on him. Nice, deep, clean blacks. And the pattern is really nice and bold. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Xena. Take a look at his belly. Nice little symmetrical bands along the bottom and he has a nice black, black tail. Now, I didn't sex these yet. A lot of times I just say he or she, but I really don't know what they are yet. I'll be sexing them soon. So this is the first baby. I'm gonna put this one away and show you the next. So now this little guy already shed out, so I'm not leaving the paper towel moist. I'm leaving it regular and dry. He got his nice little bowl of water and a paper towel, actually a toilet paper roll that I cut in half. So that'll be his little hide in the corner. So now maybe wait a day and then we'll offer him his first little pinky. All right guys, so I wanna show you the big surprise from this clutch from Xena and Edge right here. So take a close look at the surprise right here. Xena and Edge were not known to be het for albino. So this was a pleasant surprise. If you don't know, albinos in this style of California king snake is about my favorite. So this was a huge, huge, pleasant surprise. I did buy a pair 
of head albinos, Dottie and Domino from VMS Herbst, hoping to produce some of these in the near future. So this was a huge surprise. Look how beautiful this one is. And this one is probably going to shed tonight. Deep, deep in shed. So those pinks are gonna be a lot more vibrant and those whites are gonna be nice and clean. So now this was the only albino in the clutch, so I'm gonna be holding this girl back. Or oh boy, I didn't sex this one yet. I just keep saying girl, cause it's got pink in it, but it could be a boy. Raise him up or her up, breed her to a head albino. Beautiful, nice head albino. Produce more of these albino babies and then I'll be making them available to you. But that means this whole clutch is head albino. So I'm so excited about that. Let me put her in the rack and show you the next baby. Give you guys a close up on the pattern. And the first time I seen this guy, I was really excited because it kind of reminds me of a zebra. The way the pattern looks, it's kind of broken up in different sections. It's got really nice, high amount of black bands on this beautiful crisp white snake. So look how high the band count is. It just has a nice wild type look to it. <clears throat> give, you, give you guys a look at the sides. And there's a close up on the belly. Take a little look at the nice little head stamp, nice white above the head stamp. This guy's really nice and calm. He's just roaming around in my hand like he has no worries in the world. So we're gonna put him in the bin. I got more snakes to show you. So a couple of hours after I record this video, this guy sheds out. So I take him outside and I record him in the natural sunlight. So if you keep watching to the end, that'll be bonus footage. You can see this little one in the nice sunlight in his new skin. All right guys, so now this is the next baby. Now look how beautiful the pattern is. It's not uniform. It's not like perfect stripes. In some sections it is, in other sex sections it's not. That's kind of like a little bit of an aberrancy. And uh, that's what I like about this clutch. Nothing is perfectly uniform, but it's all amazingly beautiful. Now towards the tail, the bands get a little bit more uniform. Everything gets broken up in the middle. Now the belly is mostly white with a little bit of bands. And then towards the tail, it's solid black on the belly. Really nice snake. Really calm snake. Look how calm this guy is. He just hatched out of the egg about seven days ago. Only not even about a week old. Look at that beautiful pattern. You can get a good look at it now. Now I'm not zoomed in. Sometimes when you're zoomed in, things look good, but sometimes you just gotta take a step back and you can see the snake in, in its entirety. So. All right guys, check out this nest snake that I wanna show you. I'm contemplating if I wanna hold this one back. So far, the only one in the clutch that I'm gonna hold back is the albino. But look at this pattern on this guy. I don't even know if the camera could really pick it up the way you see it in person. You see right there, it's a little broken up. Right there, it's a little broken up. It kinda of looks like a zipper. Besides having this zipper pattern right here, he has a high band count and it's really nice and uniform. Kind of reminds me of Xena a lot with that little aberrant pattern. This guy is really, really a stunner.
So I'm so proud of Xena and Edge. They produced a beautiful clutch and their head albino added bonus. I still have two other clutches to show you. When I came back from Daytona, Mojave and Sahara, Tara Hermara Mountain Kings, that clutch all hatched out and also the T positive Nelson milk snakes that are head splotched. All 13 babies hatched out. They all look beautiful. I'm going to show you those. And today when I woke up, Pumpkin and Kane's babies just started hatching. So that's going to be another clutch. There's only three eggs in that clutch that are good right now. But that's another three babies I got to show you. So there's a lot of great things coming up. I'm still a little sick. I got a nice burrito inside that I'm going to warm up. I got a nice watermelon that I'm going to cut open. I got to compensate for not having my coffee, but I'm doing okay. I'm glad I'm here with you guys, so be safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.